Well, Dick, they passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the Texas Tech Red Raiders and the Kentucky Wildcats. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Wildcats should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Next, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Third, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From left to the circle. Great job of running the defender into the screen, but a nice J. Both teams looking to get things going here. Moving it around the perimeter. Bed the low block. They move it into the front court. And up, and he knocked it home. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Shows patience waiting for the reset. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. On the dribble, gives it up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. For the bucket and off the mark. Shepard is feeling good. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards up there. Yeah, that helps. That was absolutely phenomenal. Stolen away. Here they come now on a turtle. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. The fans at Rupp Arena are in an uproar. On the inside. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. He'll regroup the offense. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. For two, it's good. That's an eight nothing one. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Takes the pass in the paint. Controlling the ball. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's 
going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. He takes the shot from the baseline. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Look at that spacing. The shooting guard handles the pass. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. It's a special art, feeding the post. The Wildcats go to the line for the first time in this game. First shot, good. Kentucky are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Gets a second. Oh, my, he ran into a major league screen that time. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Inside. Gets it back out. Gave it up. Fires away. Sinks it. Three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. He shoots from the top of the key. He buries the shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Trying to pack it inside. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Inside. The skip pass is picked off. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. In and out. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. There's a double team waiting there. He looks for the bomb. Way off target. Shepard receives the ball. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Here's a flash from the high post. Leftwich receives the pack and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Nine seconds remaining on the shot clock from three-point territory. Up and inside! For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Great play to take that to the basket. Dribble gives it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. 
I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? He shows the sweet touch. On the inside. There's the trap. Clemens comes up with it. Looking for a good shot. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. For two, perfectly executed. He tries the three. He gets the bucket to fall. Replay, please. Trying to draw the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Shepard handles the feed. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Goes. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, do a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Entry pass in the paint. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Goes up for two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. He gets the rejection. Clemens makes the finger roll. Tries to get the D to bite. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets the board. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great. There's a tough shot and one. He wanted that one, baby. He says you got to foul me harder than that. What a great play. Check him out, Dick. He's taunting the crowd. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. On the outside. On the inside. Pump fakes. He blocks the shot. They're working around the arc. Working it around the perimeter. Ten seconds to get a shot off. With a bucket, he drains it. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up, and there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Nice hop. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Boy, terrible execution on offense. 
He went for the steal in the post and he and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. A high screen. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He'll look at a pair of free throws. Makes the foul shot. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. On the outside, got a wide open look. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking for a good shot. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers could absolutely destroy a team. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Two, perfectly executed. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layoffs. Gives it up. Up and inside. Gave it up in the paint. Nice little jam right there. The one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime. Little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. On the dribble. Gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fakes the jumper. He attempts the jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Gave it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Basket falls despite the contact. On the outside. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. He misses the second. 
He cleans the glass. Lobs it. There's the pick. There's the roll. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Now they work it around the perimeter. Puts up the shot. Off the rim and no good. Coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Here's another look at the play. From way outside, he buries it. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal strong. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. He makes a nice shot fake for the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Dump it inside. They'll work it around the arc. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. The Red Raiders have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Picks off the pass. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. On the dribble, gives it up, picks off the lazy pass. Look at that spacing. With the J. Nails the J. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Executes the baby hook. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Chapman picks up the foul. 
Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. He fouled him. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He shoots from right of the circle, way off target. He can't get the bucket to fall. And halftime, the Wildcats are up 5-4. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Kentucky showed dominance on the boards, Dick, in the first half. Yeah, and therefore they control the game. Rebound and wins games, my friend. All right, Dick, we're going into the second half, and, you know, this gets down to somebody's going home and somebody gets to play on. Why, isn't that a shame, Brad? Because both these clubs are playing so well. They're such quality teams, but it's going to come down at the end. I think you better be able to convert on that free throw line, and you got to get some easy baskets. I think every basket has been a struggle offensively. they got to find a way to get some conversions in transition. so important when you're getting points off turnovers and look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. The ball goes out of play. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Steal. He telegraphed that pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He fires from long range. He drains the shot. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Well, wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? the perimeter on the inside and he scores despite the hack <laughs> tries to turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move for two I tell you once you get deep position like that it's automatic Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Erin. I'll tell you, Erin's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Working it around the perimeter. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. For the deuce, they still don't score. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Goes up for 
two. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Daddy's on fire. Top of the circle. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket, with the layup. that ball movement get that good spacing that was a great great effort right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well the power forward gets the ball sets the screen for his teammate look at speed i tell you man there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness the point guard takes the pass up and inside Goes up for two. Texas Tech have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. He gives him the fake. High post screen, going to use it. For two, he puts it in with contact and all. Intercepted. Cross court. Jumped in front to take it away. On the outside. Number 50 with the fake. Step out on that screener. Chapman draws the personal. The Red Raiders have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. He steps up to the line. Buries it. Five-second count winding down. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block kick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny if Denny does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. The lay -in. the lazy pass. The pass is ripped away. He broke out just in time. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Hard foul. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. He goes to the line for the first time. He sinks it. That's a 7-0 run. The power forward takes the feed. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Dump it inside. Up fake. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. That 
that spin move is not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And a momentary look from three point land. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. Scorches the net. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. A terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the dribble, gives it up. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. the perimeter outside jumper drains the shot the center gets the rejection there's the trap the Red Raiders have a special roster, which I know you're in love with. Well, their roster is pretty special, Brad. You know why? Because of the seniors, the leaders, the dependable ones. They're so important. Wow, let's check out the replay. In the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. Like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picks off the pass. The shooting guard with the ball. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Now coming down with number. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. Check it out, Mr. Vitale. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. With the freebie. It's good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? You guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. Thanks, Aaron. Strips the ball. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. They'll work 
it around the arc. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Takes away the pass. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. The Wildcats are down by four. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Off the rim and no good. He buries it. Gave it up. It's good. He drew the foul off a hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no more. Number 15 gets in on his first minutes tonight. Hey, this kid really knows how to keep the offense moving. Tremendous leader out there. The dribble gives it up. Picked off. We're going to move it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Launches the three. Rims out. They work it around the perimeter. He takes the three. That was nice. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. High post screen. So effective, that screen. into transition. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. For two. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. That's a 7 nothing run. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And a momentary look from three-point land on the outside. He shoots from the angle. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Drains it. The Wildcats are trailing by 10. the pass. For two, rims out. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Picked out of the air. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Go 
Goes up for two. And he misses the shot. Great defense. Working it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. For the deuce. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. the perimeter double team now bad angle there's the fake intercepted tries for two up for the lay-in Side. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Gave it up. He shoots from left of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. There's a double team waiting there. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. From the top of the key, the Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Kicks it out. Pushing that basketball. Now they work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. the low block try to work inside almost lost the basketball too physical wow dick let's check out that state farm drive of the game hey what a great move brad he was able to find an opening and finish at the basket that's a great finish highlight material baby No good. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Number 54 walking back out onto the floor. He needs to get himself warm playing defense first before he starts to think about offense. He goes to the line. Gets it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Makes the second. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. to bounce back into action here. It's a nine-point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a breakdown here, though. He launches the bomb. He gets it to go. Foul, and that's 
stops the clock again. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. He hits the second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Fakes the shot. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Gets the second. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He launches a three. Scorches the net. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. And we'll go to the free throw line. He hits the first shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Makes it. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. He shoots from left of the circle. Goes up for two. And he scores despite the hack. He throws it down court. And the ball goes out of play. There's the turnover situation for the hat, Dick. I'll tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in a game at the end drops significantly. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Texas Tech graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.